Hey guys, uh, we're gonna move on to our building a house in Tinkercad assignment. So uh, to do this, we're gonna go to the learn section here on tinkercad.com and you go to projects and you go to build a Tinkercad house. All right, and we're gonna start with part one, build a Tinkercad house. This is gonna be like the first lesson we did where we just kind of followed the steps. Uh, in this activity, you'll use learn how to create a simple house shape uh, and personalize it. So, when looking at it, the image above, several characteristics stand out. The red wall shape and makes the walls. Okay, there's the walls of the house. Uh, the the green triangular shape makes the roof. The there's an arched doorway which you look and you see it's a little curved. See through the doorway, you can see the building is hollow. It's not all one big piece. Okay, so we're noticing that right now up here. Okay, so we're going to take a box and we're going to put it in here and it says make this 40 by 20. So I'm going to click here and just change one of these to 40. Boom, done. I wonder what happens when I say show hint. Uh, okay, yeah. All right. So select the duplicate button. So I'm going to hit this is duplicate. So it made another one. Um, so make an exact copy in the exact same position. Use the black dots on the model and shrink the shape to one millimeter in every direction. So I'm going to click this. Well, they're saying to take this and move it in one. So there it goes. I went to 39. Personally, I prefer typing these, but we're going to follow what the lesson says. Maybe they do it better. All right, so got that done. I wonder if it's wanting me to do it on these sides too. Um, on every side, so I gotta do it on this side too. So this is gonna change to 38, and this one's gonna change to 18, because I did one on each side, right? Oh, whoops, I think I just did two. It was 20, so it should be one on each side. Oh, whoop. There we go. One on each side. Um, use the white dot on the top to increase the height several millimeters. The change height will simply make, so, we, oh, it's asking me to increase the height on this one. Okay, so we increased it up a little bit. Um, by making this box taller, it can, e uh, it can easily be selected because it stacks above the original shape. Click next to continue. Hollow out the house. So I'm pretty sure select the inner cube, which is already selected, and we're going to click the whole command all right and it should be a transparent block and now we're going to select both of these highlight them or you can hold shift and so just click on each and then hit group and we should get our oh I did something wrong oh no control Z all right it's a good good thing to notice here okay so this did I I, I might have accidentally moved my bigger box here no I think I moved the same side twice, so I need to move this guy in one. And really, in reality, I like selecting these and using the align tool, middle, middle, and that will fix everything. But that's just me. But we're going to go in, oh, whoops, not that. Group. Okay, it looks like something's not right. Um, uh, It looks like I came in. This should be 38 because two off, one off of each side is going to be minus two. This should be 18, and then I'm just going to go ahead and use the align command because that's how I do it, and I think that's easier. All right, select them all. Hit group. There we go. We got our walls. It looks all even and cement. Well, yeah, good. Clicking on next. All right. Add shapes to make a doorway. Place a red box uh, on the right there and a round roof on top of it. A round roof right here. Sit that right on top of that guy. Bring him up. I already know this height's 20, so it says that says 20. Um, these shapes will combine to make the door size that we need. All right. Uh, 
select the roof and use the black arrow on top of the model to, to lift it, which we just did. This is the little arrow thing they're talking about. Um, select the red box shape and the blue box. Go to the Align tool. Now that's high enough. This is what we just did earlier, and it's all aligned perfectly. Okay, Nothing we can do. Use the Align dots. I would click here, the middle ones, to align it up, but there, it's already aligned. Um, here, I'll just go ahead and move it just to, just to show you what that's going to look like. Say they're off. Boom. Boom. It's aligned. Once they're all aligned, we're going to group it. Group and use the inspection window to set the door to set the door shape to the hole hole oh, there we go so now we're going to make this the right size it looks like it wants us to put it on this side of the door so that means i'm going to have to rotate mine and we're going to go on the inside dots here to the 90 degrees and we're going to move over here now clearly this is way, way, way too big, so it's saying to use the shift key. So I'm holding the shift key on the keyboard and I'm moving this door down to what I think is an appropriate size, or does it tell me a size? Okay. And then we're going to move that into the door. I'm going to put it there. And then I'm also going to give it because we want to be, oh, look at that, lined it up perfectly first try. Okay, once positioned, group it. Boom. Group. Done. Look at that door. Wait. What happened? Oh, I just ungrouped it all. Control Z. There we go. This one's grouped. That one's ungrouped. There we go. Looking good. Adding the roof. So place the roof thing on here. Okay. Set it up 10. Oh, wait, whoops. First, I need to rotate it 90 degrees to match up with that. Um, we're going to lift it. It said 10. Is that right? Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I missed a step where I was supposed to make this only 10 off. I was thinking it looked a little tall. There we go. Okay. Um, and then we're going to use the align. So we're going to select these, use our align command. Oh, wait, that's mirror align. And we're going to, I'm going to align it to the back of the house and then the middle. There we go. And then we're going to resize this. And you can do this by either dragging this dot forward or since I know what the distance is 40 I'm just going to type in 40 and boom we got a house all right um, select both shapes and group them group and remember if you want to change it you can go to multicolor here and get the two side shapes okay and that's basically what's on so we're done with the first part time okay we're gonna go on to the next part which is create a floor plan okay in this lesson you'll learn how architects create floor plan it next continue what is a floor plan well a floor plan is a two-dimensional drawing or set of instructions an architect creates to explain to builders the specific size shape and characteristics of the house so basically your room has a floor plan or your house has a floor plan like your room your bathroom all those walls are drawn out looks something like this all right uh, typically a floor plan is created um, before the house is built uh, instead of after but you can't make one after if you didn't get one before a floor plan is created by looking straight down a house like you're on top like a giant or a bird looking straight down and there's also things to define things like doors, uh, windows, and other things. In our rough floor plan, um, we're taking a thin slice on the work plane. Imagine below you see, so we're probably going to look at it on from the top down. I don't know if it's telling us to do this, but this is how, imagine we're looking down. Okay, so below is the floor plane of this house created by Autodesk Revit, which is um, 
their, one of their programs for actually designing buildings. So if you want to learn, Autodesk is the one who makes Tinkercad. They make a bunch of other uh, 3D modeling. So let's just see. If there's, our, there's our floor plan. If you remember, it was 20 millimeters. This is, says feet, but that's what our, our original box was. Below is a slightly more complicated version of that house. So this time we added in a bathroom, some doors, double doors there. It shows you which way the doors swing, two bedrooms, kitchen, family room. Okay. Start by duplicating the house you just created by selecting the house and then select duplicate. Um, ah, where's my house? So I reset. Uh, huh. Okay, there it is. All right. I don't know why my house disappeared. Well, we won't move it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to hit duplicate. All right. Move the house to the side of this house. Place a box on the work plane and make it 50 millimeters long and 50 millimeters wide. Actually, this one should be 50, and this one should be 30. Okay. The dimensions above, and if you use that, I want you to make it 50 tall. Okay, it's saying they don't need big exact because I know what they're going to do. Um, okay, we're going to change this to a hole, and we're going to move it over one of these houses. Did it tell us to lift it up a little bit? Oh, it lifts it up by 0.25. So we're going to click here. We're going to change this to 0.25. Okay, and then we're going to, I'm pretty sure, select these two and combine them. And we should get, make a little group. Okay, there's our floor plan. Pretty cool. Done. Okay, so now we're going to make it our, oh wait, did I miss something? Uh, we're going to keep going. Almost done. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll tell you what, we're going we're gonna to stop right there and we are going to finish this in a different video. Uh, so get your floor plan. Uh, one thing I would actually encourage you to do at this point in time is take a box and I want you to actually make another wall. So let's go ahead and make this 0.25 and these walls should be one millimeter. So I'm going to add one there and I'm going to take this guy. We're going to rotate it. And let's make, we're going to make you 10. Okay, this is going to be the master. So I just copied and pasted it. Move it in there. I'm going to move this, change this to 5. So we have a 5 millimeter doorway right there. And then I'm going to duplicate this guy, duplicate him, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, add in there, I'm going to duplicate him again, move him over here, this will be our bedroom, okay, and we will Duplicate this guy, move him over here, and this will be our bathroom, our hallway closet, whatever you want to do. Okay, so you got your floor plan made out. Now you can actually select all this stuff. Whoops, did not want to select that guy. 
Holding shift. Oh. So in Tinkercad, if you just touch something a little bit, it selects it. And other, some other 3D modeling software, if you touch, you have to just highlight all of it. So we're going to go back up to 10 here. And we're going to move this guy. We're going to ungroup him and move it over. Well, actually, yeah, we can go right on top of this guy because it's already got the thing. And so now, you take that, delete this, and delete that guy. We actually have our little room. We can go into our house here. So I'm going in. There's the living room. Oh, well, let me go any further. Wow. This is really not what this program is for. There's a master bedroom, there's a side room, the little closet bathroom thing. You know, you can go in here and add windows. Drag this guy down. Doors, secret passageways. If you guys are playing Minecraft, I'm sure you guys are good at that kind of stuff. Boom, boom, boom. So lots of options here, lots of cool stuff. All right, so that we're going to stop there. Uh, but try to, make, try to add in a wall on the inside and then take a screenshot. Uh, when you take your screenshot, uh, have the roof off. Don't have the roof on. Okay? Good luck.